Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumberyard. Hopefully you're doing well today because we are gonna be talking in this video about the original Tuft & Needle mattress, one of the safest picks within the online space as I currently see it. So this is one of those beds that we've been testing out for years on this channel. I remember back when it was a flat white bed with a two layer foam design. Nowadays, it's a little bit more upgraded and it looks a little more aesthetically pleasing. And it also feels quite nice. So uh, we're gonna be talking about the policies this bed is backed by, then we'll delve into its new construction, talk about how the bed feels, how firm it's gonna be the average sleeper, what it's actually gonna feel like for you to sleep on. We'll talk about items for couples to consider, of course, the bed's price point, and I'll even sum things up at the end with a final verdict, so stick around. But if you enjoy this one or you get something out of it, we point you in the right direction today, click the like button, subscribe to the channel while you're at it, but now let's just roll that intro. Okay, so right up top here, I do wanna mention that we received the mattress that you're gonna see in this video for completely free from Tuft & Needle to review. But if you decide to purchase it online for yourself, you're gonna be backed by some pretty standard policies. And it all starts with completely free bed in a box shipping. So once ordered, this bed is gonna eventually show up at your doorstep inside of a large cardboard box wrapped up tightly in compressed plastic packaging. All you gotta do is just drag that thing in your home, dump out the contents, rip off all that plastic, and then the bed is rapidly gonna inflate and expand before your eyes. It's a really cool process to watch. And it's actually kind of fun if you have a friend there to help you out with the whole unboxing. Once it's in your possession, you have 100 nights to really see if it's gonna be the right mattress for you before you're officially stuck with it. So take some time to really rest on this mattress with your own bedding and sleep setup and make a well-informed decision before you either wanna keep it or send it back. Now, if you decide that this isn't the bed of your dreams, you can send it back for completely free, but most brands, including Tuft & Needle, will probably ask you to try it out for at least 30 nights before initiating the returns process. This is just because, like many other products, like a sneaker, for instance, your body needs a little bit of time to kind of acclimate and adjust to the new product. And that is especially the case for brand new online beds. Give it a little bit of time before you make your final decision, but you do have some time to do so. If you decide to keep the Tuft & Needle original bed, which I think most people will end up doing since you're already doing your research here, it's gonna be backed by a standard 10 year limited warranty. And we'll try to link some more helpful details regarding this policy stuff down below in the description box. So check that out if you wanna learn more. Now let's talk about its brand new design. So in the past, the original Tuft & Needle, as I kind of mentioned, was a two layer foam option. It was a really simple, bed in terms of construction. Now it's a little bit upgraded with four foam layers, and it also looks a little bit different. So on the bottom, it starts off with a dense support foam chunk to act as the main support system for the mattress. And then you have a couple responsive transition foams to act as a buffer between the harsh dense support foam and the main comfort layer for this mattress, which is what Tuft Needle calls the flex foam. And this is basically a more open cell, softer style of comfort foam that gives the bed its main feel. Wrapping everything up here is a soft gray cover with this little intricate pattern on top. We I think it looks really nice, especially compared to the old model, which featured this flat white cover that kind of picked up stains easily. Here, that's not gonna be as noticeable. But even though the bed's design is a little bit different compared to the previous model, not much has changed in terms of the feel this bed presents sleepers with. So this bed has a really accommodating, neutral foam feel that you know should work for a variety of sleeper types out there. It doesn't have a really sink in viscous memory foam quality or an ultra responsive latex foam feel. It's right in the middle of those two and this is a great safe choice in terms of a mattress feel. I'd pretty much recommend it for anyone who's kind of unsure as to what bed they really want out there. Getting something with a neutral foam feel is a really safe choice. And that's just because it should work for anyone out there. I think if you took somebody off the street and just asked them to try the bed out, they would probably find it comfortable. Now going along with this neutral feel, it also has a pretty accommodating firmness level at a proper medium on our scale. It might be slightly firmer, a tinge bit firmer than the previous rendition of the bed that we tested, but not by much at all. So it's gonna be a great option for accommodating all sleeper types, backside, stomach, and combination sleepers. Uh, if you are a combination sleeper like myself, a medium firmness is a safe way to go. It's supportive enough to kind of prop you up when you're sleeping on your back or stomach, but pressure relieving enough for your side. So a really nice balance firmness wise. Now, if you want something a little bit firmer from Tuft & Needle, they have some other options worth your consideration. The Tuft & Needle Original Hybrid Mattress, since it uses coils on the bottom, it's gonna be slightly firmer than a medium, maybe like a medium plus. And both renditions of the Tuft & Needle Mint Mattress, the Mint and the Hybrid, are gonna be in between a medium and a medium firm on our scale. So in the past, those were super soft, pressure relieving options geared towards side sleepers, not as much nowadays, more so for back and stomach sleeping. We'll try to link those other options from Tuft 
Tufty Needle down below in the description box if you want to learn more about those. But uh, getting back to the original Tufty Needle mattress, let's cover some items for couples to consider. If you're going to be sharing this mattress with a partner, you want to be aware of how it performs in terms of supporting you along the edges, isolating cross mattress movement, and how hot or cold the bed sleeps. So in terms of that, it's pretty much a temperature neutral sleeping option. It shouldn't be really an active cooling bed, but it shouldn't excessively warm up on you either. In terms of motion isolation, it's actually pretty good being an all foam mattress. It does deaden quite a bit of cross mattress motion from side to side. So no real issues here for light sleepers. For a foam bed, it also presents sleepers with really sturdy edges. You know, I think you're probably gonna be getting better edge support from the hybrid rendition of the bed, but it does have some pretty supportive edges. So no real issues here if you like to kind of sleep close to the perimeter of a bed at night. Now let's talk about pricing. How much are you gonna be paying up for this mattress when all is said and done? Keep in mind here that pricing, especially for the original Tufty Needle, can change from time to time. And this is as of when I'm recording this video, but the pricing for this bed is probably one of the most affordable I've seen in years. So a queen size is retailing currently for around 895 bucks, but after discount, you should be paying closer to the $716 mark, which is a pretty nice value for this option. I've seen this bed priced well over a thousand bucks in the past, so around 700 for a queen size mattress, especially for the original Tufty Needle, I think you're getting your money's worth, so hit the description box to see any sorts of discounts we can find related to helping save you the most amount of money possible on this bed. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. You know, I would definitely consider this mattress if you're just searching for a simple, comfy foam bed that should be a great option for guest rooms, rooms, Airbnbs, or even a bed for couples with a neutral firmness and feel, and you just want a pretty quality mattress for a reasonable price point. But that's just our thoughts on the subject. What's your take on things? Have you tried out the original Tuft & Needle? Would you like to? Rise down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. If you got something out of today's video, again, drop a like on it. Subscribe to The Slumberyard for so much more. And hit the description box if you want to see some more related content about this mattress. But that's going to do it for me. I'm JD, like always. Sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time.